Unfortunately, at times, there's a subset of patients in which device removal is not done. And some of these patients, unfortunately, are treated with measures that do not work. Some of them are treated with oral antibiotics. Some of them are treated with pulse generator removal or pulse generator repositioning. And none of those works. The infection will come back in most of them and will continue and the patient may die. In the patients that do not get the appropriate treatment, which is to remove the leads and the device, all the other options, either antibiotics or a device repositioning or pulse generator removal, tend to fail. To a rate of 80% a year, the infection comes back. So it's very likely that someone that does not get the appropriate treatment will have a relapse of the infection and then continue downhill. The most common bacteria that infects the leads is, are called staph. And this particular bacteria, once it touches a foreign body, begins to secrete this shield that we call biofilm. Biofilm is a shield that the bacteria produces once it touches a foreign body like a lead. And this particular shield provides an incredible protection for the bacteria. It protects the bacteria against antibiotics and the patient's own defenses. While doing that, the bacteria continues to grow and grow and continues to go downstream and produce infection in other areas and eventually killing the patient. Unfortunately, there's a subset of patients in which antibiotics is used for a long term as a choice of therapy. This is not a good choice because on these patients, the bacteria may develop resistance to the antibiotics. Some of the patient's symptoms are decreased by the use of antibiotics, but then the bacteria becomes resistant to the antibiotics and creating a lot of problems downstream. In addition to that, the patient may develop secondary infections by fungi or by gram-negative, making the management of the infection far more complicated. If the device infection is left untreated or undertreated, the infection will recur and come back and the infection will continue to take over and the infection will extend to the heart valve, a situation called endocarditis, and will continue to extend to the lungs as septic pulmonary emboli or distant infections and eventually will cause shutdown of the body called multi-organ failure and after that will become death. That happens when the infection is not treated. And it's very common to see patients that are elderly with devices presenting to hospitals already in multi-organ failure and infection not being well recognized. When we compare patients that has no infections versus the one with infection, we see that the patients with infections have higher chances of dying than the ones without infection. And if the infection is not controlled, this patient will continue to have an increased mortality, up to 40 to 60% mortality a year. So it's a significant mortality, and therefore, removal of the system becomes a life-saving procedure.